your first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. Wednesday is here and we get one more spring like day out there to enjoy before big changes come in. They will begin to arrive during the day tomorrow. That'll bring in more wet weather and a little cool down, but the cold air really starts to surge in as we go through the weekend and more so into next week. Say it isn't so that we have 40s for high temperature in that seven day forecast. All the full details here in a minute. As we go through today, though, look for a very similar forecast for what some of us have been seeing over the past few. A mix of sun and clouds, a little more cloud cover west of I-95, and the slight chance of a shower will be out there at times for the inland areas, especially even up to the border belt. As this disturbance, it's well off to our west and all that moisture slowly sinks south and eastward. Now the front will begin to drift on through the area during the day tomorrow, along with an area of low pressure off to our west moving through as well. That'll bring an initial cool down for the inland areas where the Grand Strand actually stays in the warm side of the system, and also we'll see a little bit of sunshine possible early on Thursday morning. But by Thursday midday and into the afternoon, a lot of rain moving in across the area as this low pushes off to our east. We will see the rain chances taper off though overnight Thursday to early Friday, and it does look like it's going to be a rain situation where parts of North Carolina, Virginia and the mountains of West Virginia will be seeing more in the way of the snow because that's where the cold air really will settle in. But as that low pushes away, high pressure will surge into the southeast, bringing in a noticeably cooler air mass for us, and that's going to stick around into the weekend. Early next week, we get another reinforcing shot of even colder air. And that's when we're talking about uh, highs barely getting into those mid 40s for some of us. We'll show you that in your seven day. But look at the big change going from the upper 70s today to the upper 50s tomorrow and low 50s on Friday. Weekend not looking too bad. High still around 60 degrees with mostly sunny skies before that surge of the real cold comes in for the beginning of next week. But this afternoon, very similar to what we've been seeing. A mix of sun and clouds, unseasonably warm conditions, mid to low 70s for your highs right along the coastline. But there will be a sea breeze that comes in and knock down those temperatures through the mid to late afternoon. 77 in Socastee and Conway, even up to 78 across parts of the PD. Florence, Johnsonville, Marion and Aner, Darlington at 76. Now, Bennettsville and Rockingham, that front pretty close to you. We'll keep those temperatures a little bit further down to the south, around 73. But it looks like the front will drift briefly back to the north, allowing you to warm up a touch. Now we will see temperatures staying close tomorrow morning to what you've been waking up to upper 50s to around 60 along the coastline, mid 50s inland and the slim chance of an overnight shower. But our better chance for rain will be coming in during the day tomorrow. Inland areas first, then to the Grand Strand through the afternoon. And with those extra clouds around, we will see the temperature staying closer to the low end of the 60s for the beaches and upper 50s inland. Noticeably cooler conditions here on Friday with a high of only 54 degrees. Saturday and Sunday, the weekend looking pretty good, although not as warm as this past weekend where we had the 70s. This upcoming weekend looking for highs around 60 along the Grand Strand and even upper 50s and low 60s inland. But your wake up conditions will be cold, especially on Saturday morning as we wake up around or even below freezing. We'll hold those 30s for wake up temps on Sunday and Monday morning. As I mentioned, though, there's that reinforcing shot of even colder air high only in the low to mid 40s for Tuesday and wake up temps in the 20s. I'm just going to go ahead and stand in front of it because that's a little cold for my blood as well. Just be prepared. We're going to need those thicker coats. The heat kicked on as we go into the beginning of next week. But today, enjoy that one last spring day and have yourself a wonderful Wednesday. Your latest news and weather updates are always available on your website, carolinalive.com.